Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech, and today's video guys, we're going to be checking out some headphones from Noontech. So these are the, uh, yeah, the Zorro 2 HDs. Now these are, uh, as Noontech brands them, uh, yeah, fashion hi-fi headphones. These are, you know, kind of the headphones that you'd wear typically on a bus or outside or something like that. And I'll say that typically I wouldn't want to wear my Audio Technicas outside. I will say they are pretty big. Um, they aren't typically very fashionable, but they do sound good, so that is why I, yeah, do actually, you know, use them audio technicas kind of in-house when playing some video games and whatnot. But yeah, today we're going to be having a look at these. These are the, yeah, the Zorro 2 HDs. I'm going to be just going to be having a look at, uh, yeah, the build quality. Really intrigued by the build quality, and I'm also, the aesthetic of these headphones is something that's pretty good. Now, I will say they are blue, they look pretty striking, and, um, yeah, from just, uh, from me just uh, actually unboxing these products, uh, Unboxing the product just a little bit ago, I will say that they, um, they're pretty comfortable and they do, and they do look pretty good. And now I'm going to be bringing you guys a full review. We're going to go over an unboxing, see what you get in the box. And yeah, I'm going to be going over yeah, the build qualities and how they sound. So getting on to a quick unboxing, inside the box you get the headphones, a user manual. You'll also find a nice flat blue cable to match the headphones colour. And finally, you'll find a nice pouch to put the headphones in for when you're travelling. So yeah, just to protect the headphones from scratches and all that kind of jazz. Now I will say the pouch does feel very nice and um, yeah, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart anytime soon. Like many pouches that some vendors do ship with their products. Anyway, onto the aesthetic of the headphones and a bit about them. The drive units inside the headphones are dynamic 40mm uh, drivers. And I will say these, uh, yeah, the actual response uh, frequency from these headphones is between 13 to 26,000 hertz. Which is, I will say, it, it, it is incredibly high, that's an incredibly high range, and um, it does actually outperform my Audio Technica ATH-M30s. Now onto some more technical details, the sensitivity is 108 decibels, the input impedance is 32 ohms, and um, yeah, the maximum input power is 60 milliwatts. Now onto the cable, um, yeah, the cable is 3.5 millimeter, and yeah, this is actually the standard for computers and smartphones now. The other cable is just over one meter at 1.2 meters, and it does come with a yeah, microphone on the cable, so you can take calls, and yeah, all stuff like that. I will say the cable being 1.2 meters, it isn't the longest in the world, and I say, um, yeah, you, some people might have a problem um, with this cable since it's uh, yeah quite short actually. And also, if you guys want to actually plug headphones into the back of comp in the back of your computer for gaming and stuff like that, I will say you might have a little bit of a problem here. But nevertheless, if you have your you know your front ports wired up um, in your computer, it might not be a problem for you. And yeah, finally, the weight is 164 grams, which is probably the lightest you're gonna find for headphones these days. And I say, and I will say, I was really surprised at how light they were when I picked them up. Now onto the design as well as the headphones, yeah, kind of being very lightweight. I will say the design is pretty nice, and the aesthetic is somewhat like the Beats headphones. Now they do look very premium, and I will say, um. And um, just for me, you know, kind of, you know, feeling the headphones, I will say, I can't really imagine these surviving, say, a high drop or something on the lines of that. Definitely don't have much play in the headband or anything like that, but, but I will say that these um, headphones, with it being what they are and with them not being really bulky, that does kind of make sense. Now onto something that does have a lot of playing in, the ear muffs. Now these are mounted on a cylinder-like hinge which allows the ear cups to move around 10 to 15 degrees around their own joint. And this does, guys, allow you to, yeah, adjust these to your head shape, which is, you know, it's pretty nice to see instead of them being fixed. Now the headbound and, yeah, the cups are padded uh, with some incredibly soft, so I will say it's incredibly soft. Now, if I were to relate this to something, I will say that's got to be something like memory foam padding, which is embedding. Now, very comfortable and, yeah, combined with a uh, very very light cam uh, clamping factor. I will say these are very, very comfortable to wear, and I cannot see you guys having any problems wearing these um, yeah, for an extended amount of time. Now, I will say a very good feature that I do want to mention is the foldability. These headphones do fold up um, and do fit into the pouch provided nicely, uh, with yeah, quite a lot of room free, actually. And um, yeah, I will say this has been implemented very, very well, and yeah, the headphones, when folded up, are incredibly small. They take up a very, very small amount of space, which is, again, good for travelling and all that kind of stuff. Now, just to conclude on the actual quality of the headphones, I do believe they're pretty decent, and and I will say for the money, and um, yeah, they are definitely good. Um, and they have definitely checked the comfort box. They're very, very comfortable to wear. However, when it does come to the overall kind of build quality, I think it could be a little bit better when considering the price and the competition. And yeah, maybe to use, uh, you know, more metal in the construction would make them feel a lot stronger to the touch. And this yeah, would be great considering the price point. Now onto the sound quality and what they actually sound like. I will say if you guys are new to the channel, I do listen to a lot of drum bass, and in particular a lot of liquid drum bass. Now for me swapping my personal headphones with the phones from Noontech, I will say they do lack deep bass, but I will say the bass is definitely there for you guys that are into drum bass like myself, or other genres like metal, dubstep, and yeah, just the music that does contain a lot of low frequencies with drums and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, so yeah, despite the size of the headphones, this somewhat does make sense. Now, as for the high frequencies and some of the very fine clarity with, say, the voices and uh, instruments like cymbals and all that kind of jazz, it's just really not there for me. And yeah, I didn't really uh, hear that compared to yeah, some of the headphones that I do use on a daily basis. Now, as for the mid-ranges, yeah, this is definitely there. And yeah, the mid-ranges, yeah, the mid-ranges uh, are definitely there, I will say that. And I did actually hear a lot of that. But yeah, to kind of conclude on the sound quality, it is good. It is very, very good, apart from, yeah, just a very high-end, and the very low end is not there, but I will say it's the very, very high end of the very, very low end of the frequencies that, um, yeah, kind of not there, but I will say, as a whole, the quality of the sound is good, it, it is good, and, um, yeah, I will say for the price, this could, does kind of make sense, it really does make sense, and, uh, yeah, it's not kind of a complaint for me at all. Anyway, guys, it's time to wrap up, and, yeah, let you guys think, um, well, no, let, let you guys know what I think of the headphones as a whole, so I will say, um, yeah, factoring the price, I think they're pretty awesome. So guys, they were the Zorro 2 HDs. They're also the pretty good headphones. Now, in terms of what you're paying, I would really like if the build quality were a little bit better. But however, when it does come to the sound, the sound is pretty damn good. And when you compare the drive units, what's in these headphones, they do sound pretty damn good. And to some people, that's only that really does matter. However, I will say they are fashion headphones and I will say the build quality, it does need to be a little bit better. They do feel a little bit plasticky. And for the price you're paying, it would be nice to see if, well yeah, just, uh, you know, more kind of a solid construction of the headphones in general. Now, in terms of the comfort, um, yeah, the actual, you know, feel of the headphones. I will say, clamping factor on the headphones is, uh, I will also, the clamping factor is pretty good, and I will say, yeah, it doesn't exactly kind of, you know, kind of push your ears into your head or whatnot. They're pretty comfortable to wear, and the foam around the, yeah, the ear cups and also the band is pretty uncomfortable, pretty surprised. So these are probably something you could wear for an extended amount of use. And that is typically something you do not find in, yeah, kind of these smaller type of headphones that aren't, you know, really big and uh, clunky, like the Audio Technicas that I have personally. Anyway, guys, thank you for checking out the view. I will say that I do definitely recommend these. They're pretty good headphones for, for what you're paying, and um, yeah, they're really comfortable to wear, and the sound quality is good. As I said, build quality is not the best, but um, yeah, I don't think there's uh, something known as the, uh, you know, the perfect product. Um, but if there is, guys, feel free to let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and all sorts, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.